What's going on YouTube? Your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video and I'm actually outside of my place here. I figured I'd switch up the scene a little bit. So I've been trying out different places to record. They're doing some um, renovations I think, painting the place over. So in case it gets a little noisy, don't, don't mind. It's just the construction going on. But I'm gonna cut right to the chase. I wanted to make a video giving practical advice for anyone that's working a regular job right now because just the other day, read this quote from one of my mentors. It's someone that isn't really known in the um, internet space, but someone I still admire and look up to. It honestly opened up my eyes to the reality of it. And after seeing how powerful this quote kind of resonated with me and kind of understanding this concept, it was honestly game changer. So I figured I had to take a second to put together a video for you guys sharing not only the quote, but some actionable steps to go along with it. If you guys are brand new to the channel, welcome on over this channel for the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has out for us to do. This quote actually resonates with the purpose behind, you know, this channel and this family. So the quote that I actually read from one of my mentors is the path to financial independence. And I just have some notes here with some things I put together for you guys. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm reading from. But he said, the path to financial independence is not through earning a salary. It's by owning, meaning owning appreciating assets like your own business. The key is to start small, for example, a small side business while working your regular job. A salary job should only serve as the safety net while planning your path towards owning assets. The reason why this quote kind of stood out to me so much was because right now in our day and age, people have things kind of confused and twisted, right? They're thinking that getting a job is like their way out and their way to be financially free. When in reality, it's actually not. Unless like you have a doctor's degree and you know, you're like a surgeon that's making like over $200,000 a year. That's like the only scenario where you end up getting a job that actually ends up allowing you to become financially free otherwise it's not the way out and there's numerous examples of this I know tons of people that have regular job and nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong but it shouldn't be the end-all be-all goal because in reality it's not the way to really achieve the financial freedom that we're all looking for and a lot of you guys that are watching some of my content some of my videos you guys are obviously looking to get that financial independence so I wanted to make sure that I kind of clarified on understanding that getting a job is not the ultimate end-all be-all goal so I'm just going to back this up a little bit hopefully it's still good I actually put together nine actionable steps that you can take if you want to quit your job and start your online business right kind of the path that I took in regards to starting my own online business obviously you guys follow me know that I'm in the e-commerce space but I didn't just start off in entrepreneurship in the e-commerce space I kind of had to work my way up one of the first things or first step that you should take whenever you want to start your own business is really committing to starting a side business right because until you make that mental decision that you actually want to be serious about starting your own business so the first step is really committing to starting your own business and making that decision because then it allows you to kind of start fully committing to it until you commit like nothing can change honestly ever that's one of the biggest things I learned from you know Grant Cardone is like you have to commit the next thing actionable step that you can take while you're working your job the next thing you want to do is after you commit to actually starting your side business you want to commit to making a schedule right so for example what I did is I decided since I'm working full-time I had a lifeguarding job that I was doing full-time and then I had a job working at Staples. I was working both these jobs full time and the only time that I really had off was the weekend and not even like the full weekdays but mainly like weekend nights. What I decided to do is commit four months of all my weekends specifically just to trying to start a side business. After I made that decision, it made it a lot easier for me to kind of follow and stick with it, right? Because now I knew that these days I was gonna see focus on my job, make a living and get paid. That way I knew that whatever I was taking from there and getting paid from, I was saving it and it was gonna go towards something else. What that something else was, was what I was working on after I was working my regular job. So making a schedule is huge because if you don't have a schedule and you kind of just decide to try to start your side business with, you know, on just like random days, random time, it's not really scalable, right? If you wanna have a plan in place after you set your schedule you want to start researching different opportunities that could potentially be a good fit for you right and you also want to narrow down which ones would make the most sense based on your personality budget and skills and the reason why you kind of not want to narrow it down is because for some of you guys that maybe are a little bit more extroverted or you might be introverted there's different opportunities that would work in your favor a lot more for example if you wanted to start a side business with like social media marketing well for social media marketing you know that you have to go and talk to 
business owners in order to get them as clients, right? That's how you run the business. And so someone that's a lot more extroverted might feel a little more comfortable trying to start a business around a social media marketing business because obviously they're a lot more comfortable talking to people. Now, if you're introverted, you may take a little bit of a different route, right? You might want to find a business that doesn't require you have to talk to people as much. It's a little more behind the scenes like e-commerce, like Amazon, FBA, affiliate marketing. That might be a better of a fit for you than like, for example, social media marketing. The reason why I think that personality, budget, and skills is like the things that you can, you should kind of use to kind of narrow down that opportunity is because for some businesses, you need a specific budget to start. For some, you don't. Same thing with like skill sets, right? For some businesses, like let's say affiliate marketing, you need to know how to write ad copy, run ads, things like that in order to actually get results with it. And so you need certain skill sets for like that opportunity. If you narrow down which opportunities are a good fit for you based on personality, budget, and skills, you probably narrow it down to a few that will end up making the most sense for you and it'll make it a lot easier to kind of choose one right honestly for me I didn't choose e-commerce because I wanted to be behind the scenes I got started with it just as like an experiment like I wasn't even supposed to like be all in on e-commerce because I was actually doing door-to-door -door sales while I was doing door-to-door -door sales that's actually when I decided to just try out e-commerce simply as an experiment and it just ended up working out the next thing is you want to obviously pick an opportunity after you kind of research a few different ones you want to fully commit and pick one that you're gonna try out the next one is you want to start learning about the opportunity with YouTube content if you can courses books and mentors and the reason why I recommend those resources is because those are the exact same resources that I started learning from when I got started in sales the first thing I started doing was picking up all the sales books that I could possibly get my hands on so after that I bought some sales training online to kind of learn about sales and literally these two resources sales books specifically and sales training online made all the difference within the results that I actually got within sales and so once I realized that I did the exact same thing with e-commerce for me that honestly shortened my learning curve because because these resources are resources that people tend to take the, their time and really put their hard work and efforts into it. Step number six is you want to start taking action on things necessary. You want to start doing this as soon as possible. So for example, for me, when I started learning about e-commerce and literally like how to build an e-commerce business, the first section of the training that I had a while back was like how to set up your online store. And literally the first thing I did is literally set up my Shopify store as I'm learning about how to set up a store. And I literally was working on both side by side. So as they're teaching I was literally implementing and so you want to start implementing as soon as you can because again information is nothing if you don't take action on it step number seven is to set goals for that opportunity what I mean by that is whatever the opportunity is set goals for things that you want to get done within that specific thing if it's let's say social media marketing set a goal for an amount of clients you want to get if it's affiliate marketing set a goal for specific offers you want to promote what I did is when I got started with my e-commerce business I had a goal once I figured out that e-commerce was all about the products and it was a kind of a numbers game the more products you tested the higher of a chance you had of finding that winning product I decided to have a goal of trying to test five products every single day and that honestly was a complete game changer because it allowed me to cut to the chase and see results a lot faster and so for me once I got started with e-commerce with my business partner you know within our second month in that's how we were able to crush and have you know literally one of the our first biggest months when we did over 200 grand and it's because we had a goal set of you know things we wanted to get accomplished in a certain amount of time right we didn't stretch it out and say okay we're gonna try out e-commerce but we're, our goal is to try five products Products within the next few months we set a specific time frame to do it and so that's also important step number eight is once you commit to an opportunity you want to give it res enough time to actually get results because something that I see a lot of people do is that they come into an opportunity and literally if they don't get results the next week well they get discouraged and they they start blaming the opportunity you should never blame the opportunity because if there's other people doing really well within the opportunity you know that for a fact it is not the opportunity it is you you're not giving it enough time for it to work you're not using the right resources and you're not taking the time to actually learn all the ins and outs of how everything works within that opportunity and so giving things enough time will increase your chance of success within that opportunity hands down same thing with sales same thing with e-commerce same thing with like learning Facebook ads same thing with email marketing like all these things I gave them enough time and I was able to start figuring things out and actually get results with doing these things the last step is to calculate how much you need to make based on your expenses to quit your job what this does right here is that it allows you to fully commit to the opportunity and understand that what you're 
doing, you're doing it for a reason, right? You're not just trying out a side business to see if it can work or not. Like you're trying to start your side business so that you can replace your job with your side business, right? Obviously that's the ultimate goal. Having an exact number in your head, knowing exactly how much you need to quit your job will motivate you even more to take action on the opportunity and fully commit to making it work. Because once you know how much you need to you know, just completely quit your job, it's a lot more motivating to you day in and day out, put in the work that needs to be done in order to see the results that you need to get within that opportunity. So those are the actionable steps that I had for you guys. This is kind of the, those, the exact same things that I followed when I first got started with you know, sales and e-commerce. Honestly, it's worked pretty well for me, so I don't see why it shouldn't work for you. Having a plan while working your job, this video specifically for those of you guys that are currently working a job, but you wanna start your own online business, right? Your own side business. These are the things that you need to do in order to use your job as the vehicle for your the ultimate opportunity that you want to have which is again your own business so that's how you actually achieve financial freedom and this isn't something that i, I came up with the, like the quote at least these steps are just things that i actually done but this quote came from one of my mentors who is a super wealthy guy i hope you guys got value from this video if you did i'd appreciate if you dropped a like on this video if you guys have any questions about anything that i went over drop them in the comments below i'll make sure to get back to you guys and of course if you haven't already make sure you turn on post notifications that way you get notified every time i drop a new video and if you haven't already join the v fam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace this is the pool area got like the gym over there hot tub and you got the palm trees and yeah i'm just vibing right now um already crushed a workout and now i'm gonna be heading to get some more things done so hope you guys have a great day